we have with us Grandmaster Mustafa, uh, who just drew the game against uh, Gukesh, D. Gukesh. Mustafa, can you tell us what happened in your game today? Well, I wasn't familiar with Move Order in the opening, and he played Bishop E7, uh, so I didn't know which uh, move to play Bishop E3, Queen C2, or B3. So, I mean, after every single move, he has options. And, okay, we got some position like B5, B4, and I pushed E4, E5, and I have space advantage on the king side, and he has on the queen side. But I was low on time. Uh, throughout the game, so I was like 30 minutes down, like, after the opening. And when I played Lord Castle, it was a shock for me. I mean, I, when I put Queen C2, I wanted to bring my Queen to G4, uh, from C4 to G4, but he played Lord Castle, this is crazy low. Uh, I thought, okay, I, mean, I saw the low, I saw the idea, but I come on. You cannot do that. C5 is open and your opponent B4, but he has this huge space advantage that he keeps everything under control, or maybe I missed something, I, I'm not sure. And my reaction was knight G5 against Longcastle. Mm -hmm. I, I really don't know how to react to that move. Uh, I, mean, I was considering other moves, but knight G5 was, I think, uh, the most natural to me. And then, okay, I mean, uh, at some point I lost control and I was completely losing, and at some point he missed with rook g2, queen g4, knight d4. It was, I thought, okay, I mean, the game is over, but he took knight d5, probably it was a blunder. Then out of nowhere, almost I was winning, I guess, I, I don't know. Because when we went to this end game, uh, uh, I play bishop g3, but I have a more like rook fd1, but I have like one, one minute and 30 seconds, I, I couldn't calculate rook d1, rook g2, or even bishop g2, I'm not sure because he's threatening bishop a3, bishop g2 perpetual. Okay, if rook g2, king f1, bishop f4, rook d8, king c7, rook d4, now I'm threatening rook c1, and like his rook is hanging, so... I went there, then I, come, I saw bishop g2, I wasn't sure, and I played a solid move bishop g3, and after that I'm not sure if it's, I had any chances. I tried, but it didn't work. Uh, in the game, when he exchanged your queen on the 31st move, uh, you already saw that rook g2 idea? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I, I've seen it. Yeah. Okay, so this is first time you're playing against Gukesh, or you already played against him? No, last year, I guess we played the game. Again, he was putting pressure. I dream, but okay, he's like, I mean, he might be the future world champion. Yeah, he's, he's playing great. I mean, I was suffering today. So I'm not happy with my game, but what can I say? Okay, how, how are you uh, feeling to play here in Sarja Master this year? I mean, this is a great tournament. Every single year I'm trying to come here. Because our uh, old national trainer, uh, Stratos Kyrgios, is uh, organizing the tournament. I mean, the players are very strong, conditions are good, so I'm happy to be here. Okay, thank you so much for talking to Chess Basida Mustafa and we wish you a good luck for upcoming rounds. Thank you. Thank you.